Hello friends, uh, today I'm going to show you how you can install uh, Linux Ubuntu on your PC or laptop running uh, Windows 10 and this method is uh, applicable to Windows 7, 8 or higher. The procedure is same. Well, for that uh, you need to have a uh, .iso image file of uh, uh, Ubuntu and uh, rufus.exe executable file. So, what you have to do, go to Google and search uh, for Ubuntu. Then go to the official website of uh, Ubuntu. Now, just click on download Ubuntu. Download Ubuntu desktop. Now, click on here, download. Its size is 5.9 GB. Provide your email and uh, Click on education, then click, uh, click on subscribe, then you will be able to download it. Uh, I have already downloaded the uh, Ubuntu file, so I don't need to download it, right? All right, mm, now what you have to do, go to Rufus and download the latest version right here, Rufus 4.7. I already have it here, so I don't need to download it. What you have to do then, just click on Rufus. Yes, then it will automatically do uh, automatically, you know, will uh, uh, select the pen drive or any other drive you have attached to your PC here. It will automatically detect it now choose ISO here all right select the ISO file you have just downloaded you want to now then choose here MBR G, uh, MBR or GPD if you are uh, partition scheme is GPD then it will automatically detect here UEFI BIOS or, or non CMS BIOS if you, it is uh, MBR if you want to know how to how to know if you want to know the how to how to know the partition scheme then go here and go to disk management it will automatically choose the appropriate scheme here now if you want to know what the partition scheme of this just go to view top and view top disk list and you can choose from here what partition style it is all right then what you have to do just click on start i already have done the procedure already uh, so it, may, it may take uh, five to six minutes you just have to be patient right i already have it here double it right right now now what you have to do you we'll start your pc and get your system into boot mode all right the keys uh, could be escape F9, F10, F11, F12, depending the type of your PC. If you don't know how to get your PC into boot mode, just Google your PC model name and then know the key which would get your PC into boot mode. All right. Order. We I do one thing.
right? So from here, you just have to follow on screen instructions, it's nothing new. Here you can choose, uh, uh, it, it says you where you want to install the, uh, you want to install Ubuntu. You can either choose uh, C drive or you can create a different drive for this. I've created a different uh, drive for this, all right? Here. It just takes 9.3 GB. It's better to have a different drive for this to get installed. Now install. It may take uh, 10 to 20 minutes depending upon the you know, speed of your uh, system, how fast is your system. Accordingly, you have to wait. It took almost uh, 10 to 15 minutes uh, and uh, it could be much, much uh, low for you depending upon the uh, you know, speed and performance of your computer. It's almost done now, setting up the system is showing. Right, it says you will uh, you will do this widget is installed and reduced. And now you can I don't know continue what I saying. I can start. I'll go ahead and restart because it's already done. Now at, at the time of uh, at the time of boot, it will again show you two operating system. Not this time when you, you know uh, switch to. Uh, switch to windows uh, and, uh, uh, and then you shut down the computer and uh, while you're starting it will show two options either you want to boot into windows or os or you want to boot into linux uh, it depends on you which uh, or you select All right so now i have to go, I have to go and uh, remove the installation medium and then press enter Now here it will show two operating systems. See here, Ubuntu. And this time I will uh, check the uh, Windows Boot Manager is here. You can go in uh, and uh, you know log into Boot, uh, log into Windows OS. I will choose Ubuntu this time and see how it's helps interfaces. See, checks out. And this has been installed in a separate drive. When you are on Windows, uh, that drive will not appear. That will appear only when you when you log into Ubuntu. Remember this. Those uh, 29 GBs will only appear when you log into Ubuntu. Right. Now log into and choose 
is the password we have set up earlier. These are the pre-installed applications right here. All right. Skip for now. Uh, yeah, share you want to do. All right. And if you get regular updates, uh, like you get on your Android phones, you get regular updates up to 2026. Uh, and these are pre-installed applications right here. So you can. No, these are installed applications right here, and it has got some you no know, cool applications, particularly for developers who want to develop, uh, who are into Android development, or uh, who are into networking. This is uh, this operating system is very uh, you know, best for them. All right, you can check regular updates from here. Earlier it showed, uh, it had, yeah, I will stop for now. All right, and we'll over check later. These are. It has got its own store from here you can no, uh, download applications uh, that would come up in the next video. Thanks for watching and uh, yeah, subscribe to my channel for more such videos. Thank you and have a good day.